Hi, this is the tutorial for the 8th grade math y linear equations y.5 graphing a line using slope. So as I click on this IXL objective, the directions say to graph the line that has a slope of 1 fourth and includes the point 0, 08. Click to select the points on the graph. So in order to graph this equation, I'm going to begin by plotting the point 0, 08. So on my xy grid, I'm plotting 0, 08 first. That's going to be on the y axis. Next, to include a slope of 1 fourth. Remember that slope is rise over run. So if I have rise over run, that means I want to go up 1 over 4 to pick my next point. So 1 up and 4 over means that I'm putting a point 1, 2, 3, 4 right there. So with bo both of my points plotted with a rise of 1 and a run of 4, I can submit my equation. Again, includes the point 0, 1, that's first. So 0 over, 1 up. And then if I'm going to graph a line that has a slope of 1 seventh, that means I'm going to go up 1 over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is going to be the correct line. So 1, 7. I'm going to go ahead and submit. A slope of 1, 6 and 0, 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And my next point is going to be 1 up, 6 over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I have my point. Again, 0, 8, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's my line. 0, 9 with a slope of 1 tenth. 0, 9. And now I need to go up 1 over 10. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's my next point. slope of 5 and a point of 0, 4. So when it's a slope of 5, remember that your slopes are written as a fraction. So what is 5 written as a fraction? Well, it's really 5 over 1. So that means I need to go up 5 over 1. So up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. And so there's my equation, or there's my line. Has a slope of 0 and a point of 1, 5. So if I'm going to plot 1, 5, that's 1, 5, that purple dot on the graph. And then if I'm going to have a slope of 0. Now, if you remember, Mr. Slopey Face, a slope, or Mr. Slopey Face looks like this. And if I want a slope of zero, I want to pay attention to his mouth. A slope of zero means that it's going to be a flat horizontal line. So my next point can be anywhere on the same horizontal line as my first point. And so there is my line. A slope of negative 5 eighths with a point of zero 0,9. So 0, 0,9. And now if I'm on a slope of negative 5 eighths, that tells me I need to go down 5 and write 8. But wait, I can't go down 5. So that means I need to do the opposite in order to plot it on this graph. So the opposite of down 5 and over 8 is going to be up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and left 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those are my two points, and I can hit submit. Oh no, what did I do wrong? Well, if you take a look, 
the point was zero nine. And what mistake did I do? It says plot the point zero nine and whoops, I plotted it on the X axis when it should have been on the Y axis. You're probably going to make the same mistake I did. Well, I'm going to learn from that mistake and not do it again. Let's say I got it and let's continue forward. Graph the point zero three. That is going to be zero X Y three. There we go. I'm making sure I got that right this time. A slope of seven means I need to go seven over one, which is up seven, right one. So up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over one. So those are my two points. I can hit submit. Includes the point zero zero and a slope of one over two means there's my next point. Zero eight, a slope of two means I go up two over one. Six five. And a slope of negative one third. So that means I need to go down one over three. One, two, three. So that would be one third with a negative slope. See, it's going down. That's why you know it's going to be a negative slope. Zero, one. And a slope of nine. So that means I need to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. So that is my line. Let's go to the more challenging problems. All right, so I need to plot at negative eight, negative nine, negative eight, negative nine. It's going to be down here. And then a slope of one eight. So that means I need to go up one over eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's my line. Zero, four, zero in my net, x, four for my y. A slope of negative one, six. That tells me to go down one and over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are my two points. Here we go. Negative one, negative six. And then a slope of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, over one. Those are my two points. A slope of negative three, start at zero, five. Slope of negative three tells you one, two, three down, and one to the right. So there's my two points, and I can extend my line out in both directions. Five, one and six over five for my slope. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's a positive slope going uphill. I can submit. I'm only gonna do a few more. Negative nine, negative five can be found in quadrant three. Now let's have a slope of five over nine. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are my two points. Negative six, one, and a slope of two thirds. One, two, one, two, three. Those are my two points. Negative seven, negative ten. Oh no, nope, negative seven. Positive ten is way up there. Now a slope of negative ten over seven. Remember when it's negative, you got to go down first. So I'm gonna go down ten, right seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. 
There's my line. All right, the challenge zone. I'm gonna do two of these and then we're gonna call it quits. It says to use two fingers to scroll the question. So that means I can use two fingers on my iPad to move the question up and down. It says to graph the line with a slope of negative three halves and a y-intercept of two. Remember, if it's a y-intercept, then you have zero for your x and two for your y. So I'm gonna plot zero, two first. And a negative slope tells you to go downhill. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, and then right two, one, two. That's my line. All right, one more time, a slope of three and a y-intercept of negative four. So my y-intercept can be found down there at negative four. And a slope of three tells me one, two, three up, one to the right, and there's my line. All right, everybody, you are good to go to go ahead and do this lesson on IXL now. I wish you the best of luck, and don't forget to message me if you do need help. Have a good day.